Okay, well it's all go. I've got um, the RP35 on the bench still. Um, I thought I'd show you where I got to it the last time we were uh, checking out. We've still got no signal coming through this. So I've been and um, started probing around the IF board. Now let me see if I can get you in a little bit closer a minute. Okay, well here we are on the IF board. As I say, this is the hacker. I'll just put my little tester out of the way. This is the Hacker RP35 Herald. Um, this is also a later version, which uh, we'll get to in a minute. But um, basically, this is the IF strip. This is coming in from the RF board here on T. I can't read that. TR2, I believe goes through this first um, IF can here at the back down to TR3 then it goes through this IF can out to TR4 and then from TR4 it goes through this IF can at the back here the transformer which is L8 so what I've done let's just turn my little signal tracer on I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see a bit more of what I'm up to. See the whole IF board. The light should be okay there. That's so what I've done. I've got my uh, little homemade signal tracer. It needs to be turned down pretty low, this one. So first of all, then we'll look at TR3. So we've got, at the back, we've got um, we've got base emitter and on the right hand side to collect to where the signal should be so we should have a little bit of a signal on the base nope you can hear from that but we have got a signal on the collector, so we know that it's good to TR3. So it's passed right away through the IF board to TR3. Now we need to check the other side of this um, IF transformer. So we go to the base of TR4. We've got a very low signal there. You can hear that, so that is coming through. And let's go across to the collector. As you can hear, we've got a huge signal there. So the next thing is the IF can. Now, the IF can is a little bit difficult to get to because it's underneath. Let's hook this back over here somewhere. These probes are rubbish. So the IF can is here. Um, let's just get you up a little bit in the shot. Can you see there? Yeah, okay. So this is the um, transistor down here. Each possibly just out of sight. So that's the collector. And we have no signal now. Where's our signal gone? Probably because I've moved it. Okay, right, found my signal again. I must have knocked it when I uh, turned it up on its top. So basically, this is the um, collector of that transistor. 29. BBC Radio Devon. Darren Cock. So you can hear that. So that goes into the Welcome transformer the there. Now the output from the transformer is down here. And I'm getting nothing on that at all. So that should have a signal on it there. I'll turn it up. Nothing. So we've got it on the input. American Sheriff. Quiet. Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. So, nope. Put it down there. Nothing here. So, 
So this is TR4. I mean, in this diagram it shows it's an AF117, but well, it's it's not. It's um, it's a silicon transistor now, one of those lock fit things. So we know we've got a signal here, which is on both of these points, I believe. Inside the can we've got a diode, and we've got a capacitor. Now the audio line comes out here, and there is nothing at that point at all. Not a dicky bird. So either this diode has had it, or this capacitor has gone open circuit. I don't know. One of those two things within this can. Hopefully you can see that there. Yeah, you can. So we definitely know we've got signal on the collector. That's down to negative, so that won't have a signal on it. So this side of the circuit's all right, but this this side of the transformer is not. So it means I've got to get the um, the can off of that and have a look. So I'm going to do that in a minute. Let's see if I can find anything wrong inside. So that is this one here, which uh, is marked on the circuit board as L8. You can see that, you are just about to see that. Yeah, this one here. So say the signal goes through there, then it comes out through this capacitor here, up to the volume control, and then from the volume control it goes into the audio amp. So if there's nothing here, then we've got an issue with the IF. Now I have wound the core in and out, but uh, no difference there, so it's not uh, like badly out of tune. Um, let's say to get signal up this far, then that last one is just really a trimming one. It's not, um, it's not going to stop it going through. So there's something inside this can that is wrong. So I'm going to see if I can get that can apart now. Probably easier said than done. Well, here it is, out of the board. Not taken one of these apart before, so. Okay, it looks like there's a little couple of little tabs in there. components in there by the looks of it. Let's take this yellow tape off. Hopefully you can still see what I'm up to. Yes you can. For signs of anything obvious, nothing obvious.
Okay, I'm going to check it with a magnifier a minute just to make 100% sure, so bear with me. Make sure there's none of these wires broken. Okay, I've gone over that with that a magnifier and nothing obvious. So first of all, let's um, hook up my component tester to this diode. Hopefully, this one should be okay. we got a dodgy diode. Now that is an OA90. Looking at that, I've got he throws the whole lot out. Some of my 91s by the looks of it, plus I've thrown some more out, bear with me. Okay, we've made a little bit of progress. Luckily, I've got a couple spare 503 boards. So I've been able to um, pop a transformer out of that one. So I'm just going to check that uh, the dial in this one is measuring okay so let's get my checker in component tester even let's hook on there and on there hopefully it should come up as a diode which it has so uh, that one is good to go. So what should we do here? Let's put it back in the original can because I prefer the brass base to this one. Wiggling back in, gently, gently. Yeah, this one's got, I don't know, it looks like someone's grabbed the pliers and just crimped it. But this one's got a nice little fold over tabs, so it doesn't matter really. So let me uh, just bend those tabs back over. Also got the brass bottom on this one. Which looks a bit nicer. So, let's uh, squeeze that back in there. So I'm going to refit that um, in the board, just there. I'm going to solder that back in and um, see how we get on. Bear with me. Okay, there we are. New IF can is in. I'm powered, well not powered up, I've connected all my bits and pieces up. So let's uh, get some power on this and see if that has cured it. We acknowledge therefore the government <laughs> have a, a yes. mandate to negotiate Brexit, but we are going to hold them to the test that they have set. North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un has described a test of a new rocket engine as a popular merger of the two in the it's Middlesbrough now to launch satellites. United States and others suspect it's intended to last night, but um, Exeter Chiefs rugby fans are so we've still got a noisy um, amplifier, but team, but lost in the final a year later. A fleet supported Twickenham Stoop, and they are in good spirits. 
So wait, that long again? We're friends, we've been great all well, year. Well, there you are. Much more of the possession than Manchester United. Having said that, if you ask most people around here... Great radios and well worth saving. Um, as I say, I'm going to go and change the resistors in the um, amplifier when I get right into it. I'm not going to bother now because I've, I've sorted the actual fault. Um, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. That's, um, that's sounding great now. Just as I say, resistors, do the current, so current and midpoint voltage and then that will be uh, in the restoration pile ready for uh, a new owner okay well I couldn't resist it I just had to change all those resistors <laughs> I might as well I thought I might as well get the electrical work come completed so all these old carbon nastiness has come out I put in new um, new resistors um, some of them are or one percent resistors, especially on the final stage before the output. So let's <coughs> turn it on and see if we've got any hiss now at some um, minimum volume. Absolutely. I was obviously central to silent. Oh, that's amazing. The tunnel at the riverside, so uh, so get down there <laughs> and see what you can find out. And what will be very interesting is that there is another camera of that just dead motion towards the Turn neck of the body, because, as we were saying, there is a motion of mouth well, towards no, me, but we can't be sure, can no, we, unless we see it from another angle, whether anything's happened. Yeah. Well, that's what we're saying. We're saying we can't see Hey, because here the camera that we've seen it around as well does not show that there's a bait but as I say he's gone in a Dracula motion towards his neck now very odd you know, it's very strange way to react it's just I mean I've seen it once or twice and uh, I think we all know who the player is he usually involved in that but um, there was a real anger there with those players but you know it was just a desperation you know and at the end of the match and we understand that the both teams want to win the game but it boiled over far too much and I have no idea just zoom you out of it because um, I say I've got to turn the lights off because of the noise. I can probably turn the main light on actually. Yeah that's uh, that's a little bit better. But uh, yeah that is working a treat now. still here I've got the power line adapter on but that's most of the racket shut up so sorry for adding to that one but uh, again thumbs up if you liked it and um, please subscribe if you haven't already and check out my website on my patreon page bye for now